Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge 40 piece haul for you. A mishmash of things, a few home goods, hats, bras, pants, dresses. Um, so let's just jump right into it. My name is Michelle. I am a full time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I've been reselling since 1999. You can find me at MCWare for you. And let's jump into the haul. All right, so the first thing is a new with ties Coogee Streetwear flat brim hat, unisex, brand new with tags. All right. Next we have two really gorgeous, pure one 16 by 16 linen hemp blend pillowcases. And that's how you know if, uh, they're pure one. They'll say pure one inside. And then they unzip and you just insert the 16 by 16 pillows. Pure one, Pottery Barn are very good. Um, Brands to pick up if you're into hard goods. So these are screaming 70s vibes, even though they are newer, that color. I love that color, that golden 70s color. Alrighty. And let's see, we're gonna just start with, I guess, right in front. And what do we have here? It was a very, very good bra week. So let's see if we can get through this quickly. All right. So I like to pick up really nice bras because bras are very expensive. A good quality bra is usually between 50 if you're getting Victoria's Secret or um, up to 72 if you're getting a Spanx bra. And so I pick up bras that are hard to find sizes basically. I try to just pick up plus size bras. And so here's the first one. And this brand is called Deli Myra. And this is a 38G, 38G. I pick up bras for $3 and I usually sell them for about 20. Okay. Next we have a sports bra. And this is by Wacol. And it is a 38F. Very full support underwire 38f bra all right next we have an adore me bralette in a size 1x soft cup no wire very very pretty with a little corset coral in the in the front there and that's a size 1x all these things will be listed in my poshmark closet this is a very expensive bra called cup C U U P 38 G. Maybe it was the same person. And these are very expensive new. Very, very good quality bras. Like a mesh. Kind of reminds me of skims. All right, we've got another bralette. And this is Torrid size one, which is vanity sizing. So that would be a 1X, and it would fit probably up to a double D. Very pretty color. All right, next we have a Glamorize Sport, again in 38F, most likely came from the same person. These Glamorize bras retail for about $60, so people come to the secondhand market and get them for 20. Soft cup, high lift, very supportive, really good brand. Next we have a Paramore in 38G, Paramore. Okay. Underwire, lightly padded mesh in the back. Oops, what that looks like. Okay. All right. Okay, here we, we have one of the Spanx ones that I was telling you about. Front closure. Spanx makes, I mean, amazing clothes. They also make amazing bras. Stretch, move with you, very stretchy. And this is the underwire one. And let's find a size. And the size is 34D. This is their Bralaluya. Bralaluya bra. Okay. I do wash these before I list them. 
but I will assume people that buy on the secondhand market also wash them, so it's probably going to get a double wash. This Scary Soft Bra is by, let's see, Fantasy, Fantasy with an I-E, and it is a size 38E, Fantasy. 38E, okay, underwire, and lightly padded, okay, and we have a Cacique, which is Lane Bryant's line, in a 38G, Cacique, and this is a floral print bra. I did pick it up, but normally I don't always pick up printed bras because the printed color ones are just not as popular, most people want a beige nude, black and white. So that's a Cassique Lane Bryant. I think they retail for about 52. All right, and last is a, oops, Wacol. This is a Wacol bra. And I'm just noticing the tag, the size is missing. So I will have to take a measurement to try to determine, but it does look like maybe a G. It's quite interesting because in the back is the four prong hook. Someone did cut the tag out. But notice in the front, the underwire is exposed. See, this, this part usually is in the inside and this is on the outside. So I will definitely have to research to find out what style that is. Um, but I mean, it looks like new condition. Very like new, it was not barely worn. Okay, so those are the bras. Let's hop into the good stuff. Okay, so we got a J. Jill cotton stretch, size 16, essential pull-on plaid pants. Beautiful for spring. A little cut at the end of the ankle. And they do zip. Full length, not cropped. Pattern is very, very pretty. It is maybe like a light pink, tan, and white. It would go with all those color t-shirts. Very pretty for summer and spring. All right, next we have some suede leather. Extremely, extremely soft suede, wow. These are gorgeous. They are fully lined and they are by J Tacky, size 16. 100% suede leather. They are full length, straight leg, and they're only partially lined, which is pretty cool. So the top is lined, the, the front, like as if they're shorts, but throughout the leg, it's just the, the suede leather, which is very stretchy. So that means it's going to be a lot more comfortable than if they were fully lined. So they are a khaki, khaki color. And again, they're so soft and they do have pockets. All right, I'll hang those back up after. Next, we have a Chico's Mock Neck. Chico's Traveler, size three. They use vanity sizing. This is an XL. And it's just a nice basics. It wears and washes well. Like that acetate fabric stretches and I really like this fabric because it washes dries well and lint doesn't stick to it or pet hair or anything like that, anything like that. all right next is a pair of Spanx straight leg jeans and they have a zipper on the back the zipper is on the back which is pretty cool so it's gonna hold everything in and it does have real pockets and this is what the tag looks like. Signature waist. Oh, they're calling them a skinny. Hmm. Okay. They are calling them skinny. People do still wear skinny jeans, so. I would have picked them up because they were Spanx regardless. They are full length, and I guess they are calling these skinny. So skinny jeans are... Not as skinny as a jegging, but it's still almost um, like a compression fit. These look nice. 
with long tunics or chunky knit sweaters. Next, we have a plus size flax. Flax linen retails for well over 100, so if you pick it up, plus size tends to do better than regular sizing, but I do pick up, I think, all sizes of flax. This is like a plum purple. It does have the ruching on the sleeves, which is cool. Very, very pretty. And I did say 1G is just their 1X. All right. Next is this very 90s sweater with a um, camping scene. I think of camping and hunting. So there's a couple dogs and some ducks and logs. Oversized, striped, 90s, and it is by Paul Timber, XXL, made in the USA. And this just screams like you're going camping. <laughs> you want to be warm and cozy next to the fire. And you're wearing this. Look how cool that is. They just don't make sweaters like this anymore. 90s. Next is a new with tags. Red. Which I featured this in one of the shorts that I did a few days ago. So this is vanity sizing. Torrid size 0. And I think that's their size 12. It's gorgeous. Wow. This would have been really good for the holidays or Valentine's Day. But it's just really pretty. A, a pop of color. Blazer with real pockets. They are lined in satin. And it has one button. And that's, oh, and it comes with an extra button as well. Size zero. So it's about size 12. Really gorgeous. Okay. Now we have some white denim. This is J. Jill Denim High Rise Cropped, size 14. Cropped, size 14, white denim, day gel. There we go, size 14. Very pretty, flawless. When you're buying white, you want to make sure you really go over it with a fine, with a fine eye and make sure that there is no staining. Lots of times I find white denim and there'll be usually coffee. It's usually coffee, sometimes ink. Um, but you just really want to hold them up to the light while you're thrifting or if you carry a flashlight, you know, look them over really good. So that was a good go. And keeping up with the white motif are these beautiful white Chico's size two short pocketed pants. So they're not denim. They're very extremely soft, a bit of a straight semi-wide leg. Um, and I'm not sure of the style. Well, they're just saying size two short. And size two, size three is their extra large. Size two is just their large. Looking at them, I'm going to say maybe a size 14. But I always put measurements for these type of things in my listings. All right. Next, we have a soft surroundings. Cowl neck, kind of a plum space dye fabric, oversized, and it is a size 1X, very, very soft. Oversized tunic, this, you would wear this over your leggings or over your skinny jeans. Very pretty. All right. This is probably the little queen of the show, these Free People Sherpa pants that retail, I think, for $160, and they're Sherpa, and they're cargo, and they have everything going from them, from the brand being Free People, to the Sherpa, the jogging style with the little buckles to tighten them, pull-on style, zip front, lots of pockets, and a drawstring. And they are a size medium. And this is free people movement, size medium. And in the back, again, pockets. I air dried them, I washed them, and that's where the pockets were out because I was air drying them. Um, they do have, I see a little bit, even though they were washed. Some spots right there. It looks like someone maybe leaned up against something, but I did wash them. So I will have to mention that. 
and that's what those look like. They are gorgeous. All right. Next, something else I featured on my shorts last week. Okay, this was given to the guests by Donald Trump for his 50th birthday party at his Taj Mahal Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia, that I believe is no longer there. Um, I don't know who wore it, or maybe the person got invited and they couldn't attend, but this is a very good piece because um, they were given to the guests only. So that's a size extra large and it feels new and it's just flawless. And then it has June 1st, 1996. And I guess that's when I turned 50. So we've got that. Okay, we've got a Chico's three quarter sleeve, size two, 60% cotton, 40% modal. And that is just a basic um, three quarter sleeve t-shirt. And they always put a really nice hem on their basics, Chico's. Washes and wears well, has a little tiny pocket. And it's just a basic piece. Okay. Next we have a Tahari plus size 2X floral balloon billowy sleeve blouse. And it's just a pullover with a little half button. And that's by Tahari. That is a 2X. Okay. Next, we have a Torrid short sleeve sweater, which I was going to keep for myself, but I just didn't feel my best in it. And that is a Torrid size two. And um, it's just striped. It's like a bouncel, very soft fabric. Washes and wears well. And if you like stripes and you do like all that color, this would look great with some black cargos or with some black leggings. All right, now we have a striped size extra large sleeveless maxi dress by Old Navy and it does not have any slits. Black and white stripe XL Old Navy maxi dress. Okay, we have some Rullis, which was the sister brand of Garnet Hill. And this brand is no longer in circulation. So people go to the secondhand market to pick it up because it is extremely well made. And these are 1X pull on joggers. They have that tummy panel, snatching the waist, deep pockets for your cell phone, full length pull on style. If they were smaller, I would be keeping them. Comfortable. Now we have a Mocha 100% silk chocolate milk color. Size 2X Vintage, 100% silk. Just beautiful. No slits and no lining, but yet it isn't see-through. Just 100% Easy Breezy Silk. Picture that with a linen blouse or even a cotton blouse tucked in. The summer. And the screams quiet luxury. Very pretty. All right. Next, we have some Old Navy XXL tall high rise leggings. Uh, pockets for your cell phone. Pull on full length black leggings. I have a lot of Old Navy listed right now. All right. J. Jill linen navy blue cardigan in a size XL. Navy blue. Linen, long sleeve, cardigan by J. Jill. Okay. Next, we have a Free People dupe, and it's new with tags, which is why I picked it up. Dropped shoulder, kind of the inside outlook, and this really pretty, maybe like a deep pumpkin-y color. And it is a XL. Very soft fabric. Let me see if I could find the, the fabric tag. Oh, 
And at the bottom, again, this is a free people dupe. And let's see, the fabric is viscose and polyester. Okay, it's very, very soft. Okay. All right, last few things. We have a vintage Speedo Ladies full coverage bottom, which is hard to find nowadays. And it is a soft cup inside, swimsuit, size 16, size 16, and let's see. Style number 7723146. Again, a soft cup, full on. Someone with a long torso would love this because you could clearly tell for a long torso, so it's not gonna be riding up the back end. This is a Speedo, and it has that texture to it, the fabric. All right. Now we have a Torrid Sports, I'm not sure if it's a bra or just a little crop top. It has lined, lined cups inside, tank style, ribbed as you could see and it is a size here we go torrid curve size 3x and this feels new this doesn't even feel like it was worn the fabric is you just know once you've been out thrifting for a while you find a lot of new without tags things and lots of new with tags things there we go all right, last few things. We have some full length tapered leg, paper bag, pull on, zip up with a belt. And this is for, this was surprisingly Forever 21. Um, Forever 21, as you know, is fast fashion. These feel extremely well made. Like if I didn't know they were Forever 21 and someone told me a high end, I would believe them because of the, the substantialness of the fabric. And they are a size 18, size 18, Forever 21, and cotton blend. And again, they just zip up and it really snatches in the waist because it holds the belly. And then it also has this belt, which is, you could take it off if you don't want it. It looks really cool. This would be amazing with a little cropped ribbed top and then you throw a blazer of your choice on top and you have an outfit just gorgeous all right keeping up with the pants these i actually brought myself and they did not work out for me but they are semi metallic and they're vintage fashion bug i don't know if you remember fashion bug when i was a teenager that was the first credit card i ever treated myself to was it a treat we don't know Size 1820, Fashion Bug. Um, I used to just walk, I would walk to Fashion Bug and I would always want to get something that I couldn't afford. <laughs> you know, I think Fashion Bug is maybe either discontinued or maybe it's just online, but um, I'm sure you 80s babies remember. So they're very wide leg and sheer, kind of metallic, and I really love the split hem at the bottom. Just love them, but they didn't fit right. They're gorgeous though. Again, very pretty. Okay, and our last piece, new to me brand, and this Gustin size 33 men's straight leg jeans. Gustin brand, um, I'm from North Carolina, and this brand, they only sell in Greensboro, North Carolina. So some gentlemen brought these. And again, they are for Lawless, size 33. And that is what the tag looks like. And they actually have a very good resale value. So men's, here we go. There's the leather. Okay. <clears throat> so that is my one men's wear that I have. Woo. Okay. I think, I think that's it for today. Um, if you're still with me, it's 20 minutes in. I appreciate it. And I thank you for watching and have a nice day.